Carrie Underwood picked up her fifth career Grammy Sunday night. During the pre-telecast ceremony, she won Best Country Collaboration for I Told You So, her duet with Randy Travis. Carrie later joined Usher, Smokey Robinson, Celine Dion, and Jennifer Hudson for one of the show's signature moments, the 3D tribute to Michael Jackson. Carrie never met Michael, but he must have seen her on last year's Grammys because he hired Orianthi, who joined Carrie on guitar for that performance. One way or another, like, all that got back to him, and he wanted her on his tour. Whenever I heard that, when I heard Orianthi got the job, I was like, Michael Jackson watched, like, my performance and, like, dug it enough to, like, you know, want some of that. If you thought being part of the Michael Jackson tribute was big, how about Carrie's next gig? She's singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. I'm going to be extremely nervous. If I look like I'm about to, um, you know, get sick on the field, I may at any moment during that song. Later this month, Carrie will begin filming for her first movie role in Soul Surfer, the true story of surfer Bethany Hamilton, who overcame the loss of an arm in a shark attack. Carrie will play a church youth leader. And let's not forget that other upcoming event, Carrie's marriage to hockey player Mike Fisher. She showed me her ring and admitted that the wedding plans are getting bigger. We know so many people. We love so many people. There's so many people in the family, people that we work with that we just love to have around us. Um, so I think it's going to end up being a little bit bigger than we um, than we had originally kind of planned for. But that's great. The more the merrier. It's going to be a happy day and we want to celebrate with lots of people.